Hi everyone. So we were discussing Go classes theory of computation homework one solutions, which are the questions from Peter Lynch lecture one, uh, Peter Lynch chapter one. Okay. So let's see this question. Question number five. In this question, what he is saying? So a language is given to you. This language is given to you, and the question is asking that which of the following strings are in L star? So some strings are given to you. So four strings are given to you, and the question is asking which of these strings are in L star? and which of these strings are in l power 4 so before we solve this question let's understand for uh, what is the power of any language see we already know that if let us assume your language let's assume that your language l that has these strings because l is a language and language is set of strings so let's assume l is a set of strings so let's assume these are the strings w x y z and so on okay so these are the strings some strings i have i have written now what is l square so if this is l then what is l square l square means l dot l okay l square that means l dot l so this is your l okay this so l dot l so i can say l dot l so in l square which strings you will have in this l square in this l square which strings we will have so that is l dot l means this set concatenation with this set so finally which type of strings you will have so in this l square we have this type of strings where basically this type of strings we have for example ww this string we will have for example wx this string we will have okay basically a string from l concatenated with a string from l so this is the idea because l dot l means a string of l is concatenated with a string of l so what will happen remember a string of l concatenated with a string of l this is very important because L is a language it means this is set of strings so these are the strings now what is L square L square is L dot L L dot L means a string of L concatenated with a string of L for example you can notice here that a string of L concatenated with a string of L similarly a string of L concatenated with a string of L similarly I can say that this type of strings you will have a string of L concatenation with a string of l so this type of strings so you can notice that in l square every string in this l square every string will have two parts so every string will be like this in this l square every string will be like this a string of l concatenated with a string of l okay because you can notice a string of l concatenation with a string of l so it will happen that a string of l concatenation with a string of l so this type of strings will be will be there in the l square so in l square all these strings will be there okay which have two parts i can say that uh, in this l square every string has two parts in this l square because this is l dot l so in this l square every string every string has two parts first part is coming from l second part is coming from l okay so you can notice like first part is coming from l second part is coming from l so this is coming from l and the second part is coming from l similarly you can notice this is first part coming from l and the second part is also coming from l so this is the idea so this is your l square so in l square i can say every string every member every string has uh, this type of situation that okay it will have two parts okay it will have two parts the first part is a string of l and the second part is also a string of l so this is l square now let's understand let's understand l cube so let me let me tell you what is l cube l cube means that will be what that will be l l l okay so in this l cube every string will have three parts you can notice in this l cube every string in this l cube every string okay that will basically in l cube what we will have in l cube we will have a string of l okay concatenation with the string of l concatenation with the string of l so in this l cube every string will be like this a string of l a string of l concatenation with a string of l concatenation with a string of l okay so this type of strings you will have in this l cube okay like a string of l a string of l a string of l okay so in this l cube i can say that every string will have three parts okay every string will have three parts a string of l concatenation with a string of l concatenation with a string of l so every string will have three parts a string of l a string of l a string of l okay so every string will have three parts a string of l a string of l a string of l okay so very simple idea now similarly i can say that in l power 4 that is l l l l so in l power 4 every string will have four parts okay in this l power 4 every string like this string this string will also have four parts the next string will also have four parts 
the next string also will have four parts and so on okay so like this now you can notice that in this l power 4 every string is like this a string of l concatenation with a string of l concatenation with a string of l concatenation with a string of l so every string will have four parts i can say uh, a string of l concatenation with a string of l concatenation with a string of l and concatenation with a string of l so every string will have four parts so for example let me assume that let's assume that your uh, language l that is a comma uh, b a let's assume this is your language l then what will happen in l power 4 in l power 4 every string will have this type of situation l power 4 what will happen in l power 4 i can say a string of l okay concatenation with the string of l concatenation with the string of l concatenation with a string of l so this type of this type of strings you will have in l power 4 so in l power 4 every string will have four parts okay every string will have four parts what will happen a string of l like this is a string of l okay a string of l a string of l a string of l okay so like this so you can notice that in l power 4 every string will have four parts every string will have like for example i can say a string of l a string of l a string of l and then a string of l so you can notice every string will be like this in this l power 4 so i can say in this l power 4 whatever string you have in this l power 4 whatever string you have you can break that string into four parts okay such that every part is coming from l whatever string you have you can break it in the four parts such that every string is coming from l like here you can break in four parts these are the four parts you can notice every string is uh, every string is bring uh, every part is coming from l every part every part is coming from l like here you what you can do here you can uh, you can you can have these four parts these are the four parts you can notice every part is coming from l every part is a string of l so this is the idea so this is the idea of l power n i can say that in general in l power n if you have in general then in this l power n every string you can divide into four parts in this l power n okay every string every string you can divide into four parts whatever string you have that string you can divide into uh, sorry into n parts you can divide into total n parts so there will be total n parts will be there so every string you can divide into n parts such that such that every part is a string of l every part is a string of l every part is a string of l okay so like this this is the idea of l power n so this is how you can understand l power n now let's understand l star also what is l star so l star means that is l power 0 union l power 1 union l power 2 union l power 3 union and so on and so on this is your l star so in l star we have l power 0 union l power 1 union l power 2 so all the strings of l power 0 all the strings of l power 1 all the strings of l power 2 l power 3 l power 4 and so on okay this is your l star now so you can clearly see that in this l star you have all the strings of l power 3 so all the strings of l power 3 they have three parts such that every part is a string of l all the strings of l power 4 all the strings of l power 4 they have four parts okay every string of l power 4 remember every string of l power 4 has four parts such that every part is a string of l like this and so on so finally what i can say i can say that in this l star in this l star every string okay that can have any number of parts okay so in this in this l star every string will be like this every string will be like this in every string basically what i can say every string you can divide into some number of parts remember number of parts can be anything number of parts can be anything because l star is equal to l power 0 union l power 1 union l power 2 union l power 3 l power 4 l power 5 and so on so number of parts can be anything like this will give you three parts this will give you four parts I can say this will give you two parts like and so on so in this l star i can say that this type of strings you have okay this type of strings you have such that you can divide them into some number of parts number of parts can be anything okay some number of parts you can divide i can say some number of parts you can divide such that every part is a string of l such that every part is a string of l every part every part is a string of l so remember every every string in this l star in this l star every string you can divide into some parts okay such that every part is a string of l so this is the idea i can say this is the idea of l star now let's come back to this question this is our question number five so let's solve this question <clears throat> so in this question l is given to you 
this is your language a b a a b b double a now some strings are given to you let's see whether these strings are in l power 4 or not okay so the first string that is given to you let's see the first string that is a so let's see the first string let me tell you the first string that is a b a a b a a a b a a this is your first string now let's see this string is it in l power 4 let's check let us check is it in l power 4 now remember this is your language l so in l power 4 every string should have four parts such that every part is coming from l okay in this l power 4 in this l power 4 every string every string in this l power 4 that will have four parts that will have four parts such that every part is every part is a string of l every part must be a string of l okay so let's see let's see this string does it belong to l power 4 this is what we have to check basically the idea is can you divide this string into four parts such that every part is a string of l can you divide this into four parts let me check let me check so i can have this part because you can notice a b so i can have this part next i can have a, a this part i can have next i can have this b double a this part i can have next after that I can okay after that this is this is the only choice after that this is the only choice and after that this is the only choice you can notice that how many parts we got we got five parts so this this string if you notice this string you cannot divide into four parts okay because in l power 4 every string should be divided into four parts such that every part is a string of language l but you can notice this string we cannot divide into four parts so i can say this string i can say this string belongs to l power 5 because there are five parts okay and you can notice every part is a language every part is a string of l every part is a string of l every part every part is a string of l so there are five parts so i can say that this string belongs to l power 5 but this string does not belong to l power 4 okay this first string this does not belong to l power 4 this belongs to l power l power 5 and you can notice because because it belongs to l power 5 so it also belongs to l power l star because we know that l star is nothing but l power 0 union l power 1 union l power 2 union l power 3 union l power 4 union l power 5 and union and so on now you can clearly see that if some string is in l power 5 that is also in l star so i can say that this string this first string this is in l star also so i can say this first string this also belongs to l star you can also see that in l star every string should be divided into some number of parts number of parts can vary okay in l star number of parts can be anything okay but every part should be a string of l so you can notice that this string i can divide into five parts such that every part is a string of l so i can say this first string this first string let's call this first string this is this belongs to l star this also belongs to l power 5 but this does not belong to l power 4 let's see the second string what is the second string the second string so the second string is a a a a next b a a a a okay let's see this string does it belong to l power 4 let me check let me check so if if this string belongs to l power 4 then what it means there must be four parts such that every part every part is a string of l okay so let's see so you can clearly see a because a is a string of l so this is your first part next again a this is a string of l next you can find out next you can make b a this is also a string of l and then then next you can make this a so you can notice that this string if you look at this string let's call it string number two then this string you can clearly see that this string can be broken into four parts such that every part is a string of l okay every part is a string of l so i can say yes this second number string this definitely belongs to l power four and because it belongs to l power four so it also belongs to l star okay so this second this second string this string belongs to l power 4 also this belongs to l star now let's see the third the third string so what will happen with the third string the third string is b a a a okay next a a so b then 5 a and then you have b and then you have 4 a and then you have b okay so this is your string now let's check it out so basically let's check does it belong to l power 4 
okay does it belong to l power 4 let me check if this string if this string belongs to l power 4 remember this is your string if this string belongs to l power 4 what it means it means that this string can be broken into four parts this string can be broken such that every part is a string of l okay so let's see can i break this string into four parts such that every part is a string of l so yes this is a b double a this is a string of l this is the first part next this double a this is a string of l so this is the next part okay after that after that so this ab this is a string of l next after that this a this is a string of l next after that this a this is a string of l but you can notice this is not a string of l this is a not a string of l so clearly you can notice that this string actually we cannot break this string we cannot break forget about l power 4 of course you can notice that okay this string does not belong to l power 4 but also this string does not belong to l star this third string this third string let's call it let's call it string number three this third string does not belong to l star because you can notice that this string you cannot divide into some parts some number of parts number of parts does not matter when you are checking for l star in this l star number of parts does not matter basically i can say this string number three does not belong to l star because you cannot divide it into some parts such that every part is a string of l you can notice that if you try to divide this string this string if you try to divide okay using strings of l then you can notice that this will be remaining and this does not this b this is not a string of l so i can say that this third string this does not belong to l star okay so this third string does not belong to l star and this third string does not belong to l l power 4 basically because it does not belong to l star so it does not belong to any power of l let's see the fourth fourth string what is that the fourth string is b a a a okay b and then you have 5 a b and after that how many is total 5 is then you have b a a now let's check this string so does it belong to l star does it belong to l star so let's see so you can notice this b double a this is a string of l next you can notice this double a this is a string of l next you can notice that this a b this is a string of l and after that this a this is a string of l so you can notice yes this string this string let's call it string number four this string i can divide into some parts such that every part is a string of l okay so this string if you notice this string number four this is your string number four this string number four i can divide into some parts such that such that every part is a every part is a string of l every part is a string of l so i can say that definitely this string number four belongs to l star and because we are create we are getting four parts because we can divide this into four parts okay this is string number four we can divide in four parts such that every part is a string of l so i can say this string number four also belongs to l power four okay so very simple so this is your question number five in the peter lynn's book this is a very nice question you should understand the power of l if you have any language l in this language l you have some strings then in this l is in this l square every string in this l square every string is basically of this form that okay every string you can divide into two parts so that every part is coming from l because in this l square i can say that a string of l followed by a string of l okay in this l cube i can say in this l cube what i can say i can say a string of l followed by a string of l followed by a string of l so in this l cube in this l cube every string you can divide into three parts such that every part is a string of l okay so this is the idea and in l star finally i can say that in l star i can say that you can divide the string into some parts some number of parts number of parts does not matter i can say that in l star every string whatever string you have that string you can divide into some number of parts such that such that every part is a string of l such that every part is a string of l so this is the idea of l star okay so for this question this is a very nice question from peter lynn's book and for this question you should understand the what is l star what is power of l this is what you should understand so this is a very nice question now in the next video we will solve more questions okay